What's good out there guys? It's Roll Easy here and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be going over probably the best method for this solo duplication glitch that's been going around for the last few days. This method you do not need custom plates whatsoever, alright? We're going to get into it right after this. If you're brand new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my latest videos. If you're also interested in GTA 5 online modded accounts, go ahead and go to my latest upload and click on this link in the description. This will lead you to the website Digizani. This is the most trusted site to purchase cash and rank services on all platforms for GTA 5 Online at reasonable prices. Don't forget once you're done shopping, add the discount code EEZY to save some money at the end of your checkout. Alright, so let's get back into this. What you're going to need, obviously this glitch is 100% solo. You do not need any friends. Uh, all the founders will be linked in the description. Apparently there's a lot more founders, so I'm just going to leave all their names in the description. Go check them out. Uh, people put in hard work for these dupe glitches, alright? And you guys love solo, alright? So, you need any CEO garage, okay? Any CEO office and any CEO garage will work with this. We've confirmed that, you know, at this point. Uh, you need a CEO mod shop, obviously a Benny's vehicle to dupe. The LG Retro Custom is the best one selling for almost a million dollars. And like I said before, you do not need custom plates. You need a bunch of RH8s in your CEO garage and an oppressor or a Deluxo, okay, in the garage as well. Now, here's what we're here's where we're going to save the vehicle. It's in the MOC. So you need the MOC with the personal vehicle storage. And most importantly, you need the Lester Techs, either one or both of them. And you're going to see what I mean here. And I'm going to show you how to actually get these Lester Techs since nobody's really touching on that. And a lot of people are kind of confused about all these Lester Heist Techs. So the green Lester Heist Techs, you need one of these. You saw that green apartment right there? That's my Eclipse Tower. That's because that's a high-end apartment. This is where you can go to the heist room right here. And as you can see right here, I've completed the first setup for the Fleece job. I recommend doing this, okay? Because the Fleece job, you only need two players. So if you complete the first setup, go outside and eventually Lester will text you. It might take a little while, but he will text you, okay? So that's how you get the green Lester heist text, which apparently is the best method for Xbox, okay? Now for PlayStation, apparently the green Lester text isn't working, so I would definitely recommend having this one. This is the new Doomsday Heist Lester text. If you've never gotten into your heist room in the facility, you need to go ahead and go in there, press right D-pad. It's going to ask you to pay for something to start the heist. Go ahead and pay it. It's only like 65 grand. Once you pay that, you can go outside and eventually you'll get the blue Lester Heist text. I recommend having both. It's always good for glitching, okay? But that's how you pretty much get them. Now, the way that they come in, you need to be signed in as an MC or a CEO. A lot of people are confused about this because they're like, Lester never texts me. I've done this and he just doesn't text me. You need to be signed in as an MC or a CEO and you need to be outside. So no interiors or anything. As you can see right here, I flew from my CEO or from the facility to the city. And look, I just got the doomsday heist text right there on my phone at the bottom left. I think it also has to do with being on the ground, okay? Uh, that could be coincidence that right when I touched the ground, the text came in. But as you can see right there, I got the blue text. Now I'm just going to drive around for 15 seconds and look what comes in at the bottom left now. I got the green Lester Heist text. So that's how you get both texts to come in. You make sure you're outside and signed in as an MC or a CEO. And you want to be signed in before you even attempt this glitch. So once you've gotten all your texts in, make sure you're in an invite only session like we've always done for most dupe glitches and you want to go ahead and make your way into your CEO garage. Now we're not starting in the facility for this. You don't need to start in the facility. You can start right in the CEO garage. Okay. So now that we're in the CEO garage, this is where we're going to do the doomsday heist, uh, you know, little quick job trick. But first, make sure you have an oppressor or deluxo, the car you're duping, which is a Benny's vehicle, doesn't matter if it has custom plates or not, and then a bunch of RH8s, okay? And make sure you have an RH8 inside your MOC, so make sure you have an RH8 already stored in your MOC, okay? And I'm going to show you the fastest and most efficient way to hit this glitch back to back, all right? So right now, I'm just going to switch these over so that I can kind of show you my setup there we go. So I have the Oppressor or Deluxa right there in the first slot, then that, and then, yeah, you guys get the deal. Okay, so now go ahead and open up your phone, you know, play Quick Job, Doomsday Heist, Lester Text, and Alone, and launch it. All right, so now we're looking for a job. You want it to say Populating Lobby. Hopefully you're not the fourth person in the Populating Lobby or it's going to shoot you up in the clouds and you got to start over. But if you're the second or the third person, you'll see it on the bottom right. It'll say populating lobby. And right when that happens, you want to go to play quick job again to cancel it. So you're going to see right here in a second, 
It's gonna say populating lobby, and I'm gonna I'm just gonna go right to my phone and cancel it as soon as I can. So populating lobby three out of four. Open up your phone, go to play Quick Job. Just launch that app, and you're good to go. The way you know you're glitched out, right there. If you look at your style, that's it. You cannot access this menu while on a mission. Boom. So we're glitched out right there, just like that. Make sure at this point you don't launch any jobs or anything, or it will unglitch you. So this is where you get your oppressor or your deluxo, and you just drive it outside. Okay, once you drive it outside and you get off, you'll notice there's no tracker on it. Okay, so with no tracker, we're good to go. Just go right back into your CEO garage that you pulled that vehicle out of. Okay, so we're making our way back in there, and this is where we're actually going to start duping. So before every dupe, you want to make sure you pull out the Oppressor or Deluxo, whichever one you're using. All right, this is where now you grab your Benny's vehicle. Benny's vehicle, notice I said that, people stop duping other vehicles, Benny's, and you want to press right D-pad to enter your CEO mod shop. Once we've gone in the mod shop, you need to simply just make any modification. So the cheapest modification will do. The plate color is the cheapest one to do. So I recommend just doing that. So go to license and then you see you can change the color here, 200 bucks. Boom, back out of these menus, hit exit the vehicle. Okay, once you've exited the vehicle, just hop back in and then no need to spam or anything, just hit right on the D-pad. Once you hit right on the D-pad, screen glitches out for a second and you start driving back into your CEO garage. Once you do that, the vehicle will dupe right in front of your eyes, okay? So this is where it's a bit different, all right, than the other methods we were doing. This is where you open up your phone, and on Xbox, the best method to do, for sure, is the green Lester Heist text. So from inside the car, just launch the green Lester Heist text, and it's going to take you over to your high-end apartment where the heist board is, where you saw me at the beginning of the video over at Eclipse Towers. So you see, I'm going to head over to Eclipse Towers, and then I'll be right there in the heist board. Just back out of that and exit your apartment. Once you exit your apartment, your car should be waiting for you outside. This is the duplicate that was inside the CEO office. This is now where you want to go ahead and call up your MOC. Okay, and this is why we don't need custom plates. You're going to see right here how we actually get the MOC to give us a fresh plate. So remember, I have an RH8 in there already. So I press right D-pad and I select A to accept the transfer. But this car isn't coming from anywhere, all right? It's a brand new dupe that doesn't have a natural spot. So once you park it in there, you'll see I still have the regular plate, my real easy plate. But once I drive back out, you'll see the plate will actually change. And it'll have the plate that, that the RH8 had that was inside the MOC previously. So there we go. You see a brand new plate, VMK577. I had the Roll Easy plate on there before. Now you just need to go ahead and save the vehicle. And you simply do that by just driving right back into the MOC again. Once you've driven back into the MOC, this vehicle is completely saved. So now if you want to rinse and repeat, all you got to do is grab this vehicle and just drive it right back over to your CEO office. Okay, so you're going to see me doing that right now once we load out of there. Drive it back over to your CEO office that's full of RH8s ready to go. And once you've done that, go ahead and go back. So you see Office Garage 2, it's asking to transfer a vehicle, not remove one, just transfer one. So we're gonna load in and I'm gonna pick one of these RH8s. And just like that, one of the RH8s went over to my MOC. And now we can rinse and repeat. This is the brand new dupe with the, you know, the car that we were just driving with the brand new plate. Brand new generic plate, easy, perfectly good to sell. So now you want to go ahead to rinse and repeat, grab your presser or deluxo and drive it back outside. Okay. We're going to do the method now that apparently only works on P. Well, they both work on Xbox. I'm doing this on Xbox, but apparently the blue Lester heist text only, um, on PS4 is the only one that's working. The green one apparently doesn't work on there. So once you've gotten your oppressor or deluxo outside, you're going to hop into the vehicle that you're duping again. Remember, all you need really is one to start out with, one of these LG Retros, and you're good to go. doesn't even need a custom plate on it. You press right D-pad to go inside of the CEO mod shop, and just like before, we're going to modify anything on the vehicle. Cheapest modification will do. So I'm going to go ahead and modify the plate, go to license, and change the color of the plate. 300 bucks, nice and chill. Go ahead and back out of these menus and hit exit vehicle. Just simply get right back in, and like I said before, no need to spam X or right D-pad or anything. Just simply press right D-pad one time, and you will head back over to the CEO garage where you came from. Now you've done that. The cars are duped. This is where, on Xbox, just use the regular green Lester Heist text. Just keep doing that one, and you'll be fine. On PlayStation, I haven't tested it, but apparently this, this is the only one that works. The blue Lester Heist text, which is the new one that will shoot you over to the facility. Now, this one will take a little bit longer because you're a lot farther away. So once you load in the facility, just simply run out uh, through the yellow circle. You can call up a Pegasus vehicle and get, uh, get out there a little bit quicker. That's totally up to you. 
But once you go outside, you should have the vehicle right there, okay? So that's your dupe. Go ahead and request your MOC, and now just drive over to your MOC, and we're going to overwrite the RH8 that was in there. Remember, we switched it with the CEO Garage one. So press right D-pad. It's going to ask us to transfer. Go ahead and select A or X to make that transfer possible. And then once you go in there, the plate... You've overwritten that RH8, but the plate hasn't transferred yet. The plate doesn't transfer until you actually drive outside. So as you can see, I still have the Roll Easy plate. Once I press R2 or right trigger to drive outside, then the plate will show up. So now the plate has merged, and you need to save this vehicle because the game still thinks it's an RH8. So once you drive it right back into the MOC, the vehicle is saved, and you're good to go. Okay, so remember, once you've saved the vehicle, then you take it back to your CEO garage and you swap it with an RH8 to put one in your MOC and you rinse and repeat and do the glitch over and over again. So that's how you do this glitch, guys. No custom plates needed. You get a fresh plate every single time. Uh, the best dupe glitches are the ones where you don't need custom plates because way less of a chance of getting dupe detected. You have no chance of getting dupe detected if you're... Um, if you're doing a glitch like this, okay, a merge glitch. So once again, shout out to all the founders, links in the description. That's going to be it for me. My name is Roll Easy. Please subscribe to the channel if you're brand new by hitting that big red button. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. We are on the road to 50,000 subscribers. Peace out and have a great day.